द पोलिस एक्सक्लूजन प्रिंसिपल वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट प्रिंसिपल इन क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स आई विल डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर बट बिफोर दैट सम सपोर्टिंग फिजिकल कंसेप्ट विच इज रिक्वायर टू एक्सप्लेन द पोलिस एक्सक्लूजन प्रिंसिपल नंबर वन इज द क्वांटम स्टेट दैट मीन्स इज स्पेस क्वांटम स्टेट एंड स्पिन क्वांटम स्टेट स्पेस क्वांटम स्टेट डिफाइन बाय दिस क्वांटम नंबर्स एन एल एम एल प्रिंसिपल क्वांटम नंबर ऑर्बिटल क्वांटम नंबर एंड मैग्नेटिक क्वांटम नंबर एंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ स्पिन क्वांटम नंबर द स्पिन क्वांटम स्टेट आई हैव कंसिडर्ड हियर ओनली वन आइगन फंक्शन दैट इज एंटीसीमेट्रिक देर आर of two types uh, number one is known as symmetric and number two anti symmetric eigen functions for the identical particles and at number 3 selector determinant is used if one have to write the anti symmetric eigen function or symmetric eigen functions for the identical particles how i have used this uh, supporting physical concept in this particular uh, video lecture i will discuss that systematically so now the point is according to the polish exclusion principle what he says he says that in a multi electron atom there can never be more than one electron in the same quantum state quantum state my means here is again same that means a space quantum state and spin quantum state so two electron cannot be exist in same quantum state so pauli exclusion principle is specify the electrons properties only not anything about the atoms and this is one of the important concept in the poly exclusion principle the wave form of anti symmetric eigen function in the last lecture i have told you about the symmetric and anti symmetric eigen function for two particles and that form for the anti symmetric eigen function for the two particles is written as 1 upon square root 2 that is the normalization factor alpha and beta represent here the quantum state and 1 and 2 these number for the particles so for the two particles identical particles the wave form of the eigen function that is known as anti symmetric eigen function so this is equal to 1 upon square root 2 psi alpha 1 psi beta 2 with negative sign and second combination is psi beta 1 psi alpha 2 here we have interchange the position of quantum state now for alpha is equal to beta if these two particles are in same quantum state it, this is the meaning of it and for the two particles let us see what will happen then so psi a is equal to 1 upon square root 2 psi alpha 1 and here as you know that this level was for beta now i'm writing it as alpha so here the there was beta now i'm writing alpha so uh, now the result is psi alpha 1 psi alpha 2 minus psi alpha 1 psi alpha 2 so the result will be obvious that will be equal to 0 it means psi a is equal to 0 the eigen function is identically equal to 0 so a system containing several electron must be described by an anti-symmetric total eigen function this is one of the important point and uh, second thing that uh, two electrons two particles cannot be uh, in a same state with the same space and spin quantum number when we are using the quantum state word the eigen functions we have been dealing with here obtained under the assumptions that there are two identical particles and the interaction between them can be neglected right so here we have 
assume that there is no interaction between the particles so if suppose we have to write the antisymmetric eigen function for more than two particles then how one can write so let us see that uh, also but uh, before that uh, important is statement that a system containing several electrons must be described by an antisymmetric total eigen functions right so now the problem is that determine the form of the normalized antisymmetric total eigen function for a system of three particles now particles are three and all the particles are identical and we have to write normalized antisymmetric eigen functions so as we know that for two particles the antisymmetric eigen function is 1 upon square root 2 psi alpha 1 psi beta 2 minus psi beta 1 psi alpha 2 and this form can be written as in terms of the selector determinant right the form of the selector determinant is for two particles 1 upon square root 2 if particles are 3 or 4 then we have to write here one accordingly right now there are only two particles so i am writing here two if there are three particles the example i will show you in the next slide will be three factorial three right so if there are n particle then we can write here factorial n here and uh, possible numbers into the determinant so in the first row if you see that the quantum state is defined by alpha in this way and here particle 1 particle 2 and in the second row the state is defined by beta you can see here this is quantum state with particle 1 with particle 2 so if uh, i have to write the antisymmetric uh, eigen function for two particles then i will use this form of selector determinant so here in this problem uh, we have to write uh, the antisymmetric uh, total eigen function for three particles so let us see for three particles one can write that in the first row you can see here alpha 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 quantum state with these three particle 1 2 and 3 in the second row you can see here that beta is the second quantum state and here particles are in that is 1 2 3 <laughs> gamma is the third quantum state and with that these are three particles 1 2 3 <laughs> so here we will write as i told you in earlier slide that uh, now there are three particles so i will write here th factorial 3 that means 3 2 1 <laughs> that equal to 6 so 1 upon square root and now how to write the eigen function so we will basically expand this determinant with respect to uh, first term second term and third term so with respect to the first one psi alpha 1 i have considered here after writing this factorial 3 psi alpha 1 is this one then this four this term this and this one i have left this row and this column rest of the four term basically i have used so psi alpha 1 is the first one with positive sign this is with negative sign this is with positive sign and then after the expansion of it so psi alpha 1 is this one psi beta 2 psi gamma 3 right this is psi beta 2 psi gamma 3 and with negative sign for the next two terms minus psi alpha 1 as it is and this psi beta 3 and psi gamma 2 this one so this is the expansion of first term now for the second term second term is with negative sign so i have mentioned here negative sign psi alpha 2 expansion with respect to this term so leave this row in which that term lies and column so now i have this one this term this and this one and this first of all this psi beta 1 psi gamma 3 psi 
psi beta 1 psi gamma 3 with psi alpha 2 and then after psi beta 3 and this psi gamma 1 psi beta 3 psi gamma 1 by this way I am writing all these four terms and now for the third one expansion with respect to this that is which with plus sign plus psi alpha 3 and expansion with these four terms so now psi beta 1 psi gamma 2 minus psi beta 2 psi gamma 1 this one so by this way you can see here uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 total 6 term so this is the uh, normalized anti-symmetric eigenfunction if one have to write for any number of particles uh, the anti-symmetric eigenfunction then one have to use this selected determinant in this form so now uh, I have to check that uh, this anti-symmetric eigenfunction is valid according to the poly exclusion principle for three particles or not so each term of this linear combination is a solution for the same total energy to the time independent Schrodinger equation and now if suppose alpha is equal to beta then uh, when I am writing alpha is equal to beta my means here to use it that two particles are in same quantum states and again I am repeating when I am using quantum state it means that a space and a spin quantum state mean alpha is equal to beta for two particles because uh, Pauli exclusion principle says that uh, two particles cannot be in a same quantum state so alpha and beta are quantum states and two particle so if psi a is equal to zero it means two particles are into the same quantum state it means that so let us see when I write alpha is equal to beta here alpha and this is beta and there are two particles 1 and 2 if I write alpha is equal to beta that means this is also alpha here beta is equal to alpha this is beta this is alpha this is beta alpha here beta is equal to alpha and this beta is alpha so for the first term psi alpha 1 psi alpha 2 psi gamma 3 if you see this term in rest of the terms you will find that here this is psi alpha 2 psi alpha 1 psi gamma 3 it means this term and this term cancel out now for the next one psi alpha 1 psi alpha 3 and psi gamma 2 psi alpha 1 psi alpha 1 psi alpha 3 this term and psi gamma 2 psi gamma 2 so this is with negative sign and this one positive sign cancel out and similarly if you can see here that for these two term psi alpha 3 psi alpha 2 psi alpha 3 psi alpha 2 and this psi gamma 1 cancel out so as a result you will get 0 uh, which satisfy the poly exclusion principle so by using the selector determinant one can write the anti-symmetric eigenfunction which is the condition for the poly exclusion principle right and uh, one of the important point that uh, poly exclusion principle specify the properties of only electrons not of the atom so thanks for watching this video if uh, you have any question or any doubt you can uh, write the message just below into the box thanks for your if this video is helpful then please like and subscribe the channel myself dr susil kumar and if you want to see such more videos you can visit my blog www.apniphysics.com